in this video we're going to have a brief look at the scheduler in automation for vmix um, just to try and give a few basic examples to help you get started assuming you've put your keys in to the application already um, everything should be up and running and you're ready to go the links next to each of these keys will take you directly to the spreadsheet. So let's go there now by clicking on Schedule Data. And when the sheet opens, you will be presented with something like this. So let's just have a quick overview of the columns. This system is capable of controlling more than one vMix system. So column A here gives you the uh, a space to enter an IP address for the, the vMix system that you wish to control. If you're just running one system, one computer, you can leave that column blank. Totally ignore it. The next column uh, is for the day name. So this might be, for example, it's Saturday today, so I'm going to put Saturday in here. It's just the first three letters. So this is the day that you want your event to run at. The next thing is the time. So it's 12.34 uh, at the moment, so I'm going to put this slightly um, in the future so we can see what happens. I'm going to actually set it to go up to 12.38 small edit later just to cut down the time <laughs> um, so times can be entered as 12 colon 38 in this instance uh, that's hours colon minutes you can also put seconds in if you wish to I'm separating each with a colon um, the green column that we're in now column D is the output um, column so basically you can put the name of an input or the input number uh, into this column. I'm going to um, switch my input number 2, which is called camera, um, to output at the, the given time. The other columns here are for overlays, so you might want to put uh, a lower third up or something like that. You can use these columns to do the same. It's exactly the same method. Just put the name or the input number in this column and it will be displayed. Um, okay, so having done that, this is a very simple event. Um, just to give you a demonstration. So we will go back to the application. Now it's important to click refresh now having changed the schedule because otherwise you're going to have to wait for however long it takes for the thing to automatically refresh. So we'll press refresh now. We'll check also that um, the, the schedule is enabled by putting a checkbox in there. Um, and then we'll wait for the event to occur. So if I switch over to my vMix screen capture, the app, I'll just move that so we can actually see it, um, what will happen when the time gets to 12.38, which is in just under a minute, the camera input, which is my color bars here, will be switched to output. And there you see the input has been put into output or program, whatever you prefer to call it. Okay, so that's a very, very basic example of how to use the scheduler. Please look at the next video for more advanced scheduling.